So we're looking at the Harris HIP score today. So you can see how the scoring system works and how it actually can be very misleading in terms of what a successful surgery is and um, how common it is to get a successful result from surgery for hip impingement. So the Harris HIP score is graded uh, from zero to 100. Um, anything less than 70 is considered poor, 90 to 100 is excellent. The thing that we are going to be very concerned about is how to get an increase in the Harris HIP score of more than 20 points. Um, 20 points is the cutoff for a surgery to be considered successful. And um, basically what you would do is you take the questionnaire before surgery and then you take it again after and you want to see a 20 point increase in your score. I've already filled in six, uh, six of the uh, fields here um, in section number one so that we have a starting score. Um, oops, let me fix that right here. We're going to look at marked pain, cane, walking stick most of the time. You can only walk indoors. You have a moderate limp. You have difficulty with your shoes and socks, and you get up the stairs in any manner, which is basically somehow you get up the stairs. Um, I also have um, section three listed with none, none, none to demonstrate something very important to you. Um, so the big thing I want you to notice here is that Section three, which is all about range of motion and improvement of range of motion, which is often what people are looking for, um, in addition to reduction of pain. Um, all of these things with range of motion add almost nothing to your score. So you can see the Harris HIP score here is 25 set with these all at nine and all these, like I mentioned before. When we make some changes here, you can see I only got about two, uh, sorry, 3.9 points. Here, we're getting a fraction of one point. Here, you're getting a fraction of one point. Here, you're getting an even tinier fraction of one point. So section three is really not even worth looking at uh, in terms of trying to gain points uh, on the Harris HIP score. Really, all of the uh, points are actually up in section one, in the pain, sec pain support and all these quality of life um, questions. So. Let's remember that the Harris HIP score right now is at 25. We're gonna pretend you underwent surgery. You've undergone a couple months of recovery and now let's say the result to you has not been that good. So instead of marked pain, you're at moderate pain. You went from a cane or walking stick most of the time to now you use it for long walks. You go from indoors only to only being able to walk 10 to 15 minutes. And you go from a moderate limp to a slight limp you're able to do your shoes and socks with ease. That's a that's a nice improvement. Um, and now when you do stairs, you just need a railing. So let's go ahead and come back down to the Harris HIP score. And now your score is already at 46 points, which is a 21 point improvement, which is considered based on the grading scale, a successful result for the surgery. So let's think about this. You only went from marked pain to moderate pain. You're still on medication. You still need a, a cane or walking stick. You're still not able to walk very far. You still have a limp. You still have trouble with stairs, but you can put your shoes and socks on okay. That is already considered a success, okay? So what I wanna demonstrate here further, I'm gonna set everything back to our original spots, just one notch back down. Um, what I want to demonstrate here is actually it's very easy to get 20 points. So if you are in marked pain with serious limitation of activities, if we just go two notches to mild pain, so no, no problems with average activities, but you know, you may still need to take some aspirin. Um, I've changed that. So again, our original score is 25. I've changed this now two levels of improvement. And I come back down and we're already at 45 points, which is already a 20 point improvement. Uh, that's already considered a success. Um, you know, if I just notch the limp one notch, that gives me another three points, and now you have a smashing success in terms of the Harris HIP score. You have improved 23 points. Congratulations. Your surgery is a success. However, if you as a patient are not happy 
with having mild pain and still needing to take painkillers, still needing a walking stick, um, still not being able to walk very far or, or being basically stuck indoors because you can't walk very far, uh, you still have a limp and you still have trouble with your shoes and socks, it's probably not considered a success to you, but according to the Harris HIP score and your pre-op, post-op um, scores, you got a successful surgery result and you should be happy with that. So I hope this little tour of the Harris HIP score helps you understand how these studies are skewed to show uh, success um, and how they actually don't offer a very clear representation of what success means to somebody who has hip pain, hip problems, uh, range of motion problems, and um, the accompanying problems in terms of quality of life. So you can feel free to come to this website and play around with the Harris Hip Score yourself and get a better understanding of how surgeries are judged as a success or not.